This is my fiance David, and we've been dating now. We've been together for about 10 months, and we're getting married this weekend. Yes, I'm way excited about getting married. Check out this place. Yeah, when we get in, we're going to check Nice. Out. I'm a little nervous, but I'm not because I'm absolutely so excited to marry you, Exciting. to have you be my wife. Oh, wait a minute. Here, there's some toys right there. Of course, David finds the playroom. <laughs> Babe, of course you found the playroom. I know. <laughs> okay, I stalked him. I found him, and his profile was awesome. So I found him online, and it was all these great pictures. Signed me up for all of that. So I messaged him. <laughs> Started talking, texting back and forth. <laughs> and then I'm like, we got to meet. It's time. Yeah, you said, let's meet. I went, oh, yeah, she's aggressive. <laughs> you know, I know what I want. I go yeah. for it. You know, Christine and I didn't really talk that much about her relationship with David. The one thing I do remember is she said, wow, he actually helps. Like when we have a dinner party, he's actually there. Cody wasn't usually very super present or helpful during the party prep part. So Janelle and most of her kids are staying in these. And then almost all of my kids that are coming down are staying here. We just have... It's going to be full. That's so fun. So out of all my siblings, only one of them isn't coming. So that'll be nine siblings. And then my dad and my mom and my other mom will be there as well. Janelle is definitely invited to our wedding. However, we did not invite Cody, Robin, or Mary. Are all of Janelle's kids making it? Yes. That's awesome. All That's going to be so fun. I haven't seen him at all. So on our first date, when I first saw David, I just thought he had the most like arresting beautiful eyes I'd ever seen. And I also was really digging the bald head a lot. I loved it. My impression on you on the very first date was when you were walking up, I was like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, you're hot. <laughs> oh my God. Your glow about <laughs> you was incredible. When I was dating, I would, um, I would let him know that I had eight kids to get a reaction. Right, I didn't know he had and eight with, kids until yeah. the first date. And with Christine, I did the same thing and you kind of paused just for a second. Are you sure I paused? Yeah, you paused just a little what? bit. What? I was pretty excited, eight kids. That, that means he can handle like my kids and extra kids and all of that, pretty great. So he picked me up for our second date. So as soon as we get in the car, I'm like, I have something to tell you, I was a third wife. I was married for 26 years, I was a third wife, I was married to him, there's 18 kids all together, and there's a fourth wife now. And then we got a little bit down further, and I'm like, I, I also have something else to tell you. I'm like, my family's been public for 13 years. And he's like, girl, I don't live under a rock. You remember? <laughs> Go, go, go! Damn you! Yeah, yeah. I knew David and Christine were going to get married because, you know, I met David. I saw a wedding announcement at my sister's house. So I was kind of curious to me that some of my family had been invited to the wedding. I'm really fine. I'm resolved with it. It's, um, our relationship ended. She made the accusation that I had Aren't we just so happy for them? Well, I'm just telling we're, a whole story. We're I just can't. so happy for them, right? That's what we want. Well, I'm just we telling just... my story. Christine said, Dad, to our ki children, Dad has his soulmate. I'm going to go look for mine. And so I'm like, she says she's found her soulmate, and I'm happy for her for that fact. That's what I was going to say. Oh, okay. I just wasn't sure. Well, no, just because I've been angry for three years doesn't mean that I can be, can't be happy for them to... Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, cool. I am just, I hope Christine and David can be happy. That's, that's all I'm gonna say. My first wedding with Cody, it was very, very private. It was a spiritual union that we had. It was very small, because in our church, when it's a plural wife, they always have a smaller wedding. But there's no dancing or cake cutting. It just wasn't a party. It was just a simple dinner. So I'm just really excited for the big wedding. Really excited. This has gone fast. It's gone fast. Um, when I started dating, I didn't want to, I wasn't ready to settle down. I was just going to have fun. And then here's a secret. <laughs> the first date that I dated with David, I actually had another date that night with another guy. Just because I was just dating and just having a good time. And after I met David, I canceled the date with the other guy. And I called my matchmaker and I just said, I'm done. I don't need your help anymore. So I found him. 
So tomorrow the wedding party's coming over and we're gonna do like little facials. And then we have a like a wedding rehearsal at one o'clock. And then four o'clock we meet and we go to do our wedding rehearsal dinner. And then the next day, we're getting married. Yes, we are. Woo! Getting married. Yes. <laughs> I asked Truly if she was nervous about moving in with David, and she goes, a little bit. And I said, so am I. She goes, okay, then a lot. I said, okay. I told her, I said, you know, he, I, he's not gonna replace your dad. No one's gonna replace your dad ever, and that's not what David wants to do. And I said, it's super weird having a guy live with this full time, isn't it? She goes, yeah, it's never happened to me before. And I said, it's never happened to me before either. He's obsessed with her, and so it's nice to see that. And he, sh he should be, she's awesome. Yeah, mom should have somebody who's obsessed with her. Yeah. I think that's important. Yeah, and you can see that they really love each other, and he takes good care of her, so. It was very interesting to have my dad fall in love with someone like Christine. They both have very strong personalities, and they both are leaders, like very much like they take charge. Yeah, pretty bossy. <laughs> Yeah, I know Christine's getting married soon. I don't know exactly when it is. I'm really happy for her. I know that she's really just been wanting to find some peace and some happiness for a really long time, so I'm really glad that she's found it. You know, obviously we've had some conflict in our family for quite a few years, and it's led to this, and the whole thing is really sad to me. Like, the whole family situation is really sad to me but I'm really happy for her that she has found her person and has found happiness. Um, you know, I have actually had a few opportunities to kind of hang out with David for a few days at a time. The more I hang out with him, the more I'm like, wow, he's a really great guy. It's awesome, you like this place? Yeah, this is totally great. This is like totally you guys. He doesn't meet a stranger. Like once you meet him, it's like, come on and hang over. Just like Christine's kind of like, have a party at my house. So they fit each other like that, you know? Let's watch this. Oh. <laughs> hey, I'm okay, I'm okay. <laughs> I don't know. Something, somebody just tripped me. I think it was Christine. I was way up at the top. No, no, Hadn't no, even walked no. down I, yet. Someone pushed me. Okay, I didn't know what happened, but suddenly Dave was like, whoa, oh, and then he starts laughing or something. Is that my dad? Yeah, this is my dad. There it is, here. Hey, Daddy. Love you so much, honey. Love you too, You're going to have a lot of fun, huh? Love you too. It's going to be way different years than those last 20 or yeah. he was on love, Oh honey, he was just he, he was just balling. I can't believe I lost her. Oh honey. Here you are with a wonderful man. He's amazing. What happened? Let me see. He loves you a lot. I know, he loves you so much. You're gonna be treated good. Yes, sir. Yeah, I love you too. 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 Love your first marriage wasn't great. I think he'd been upset for a while. He definitely was really frustrated with Cody. He's thrilled to see this. He knew I had a hard, like, hard time. He saw me sad for a while. Thank you for coming! <laughs> hey! I mean, I'm way excited for tomorrow, but I want to go, I just want to get going. <laughs> no, it's been too long. You want to get it over with, yeah. don't you? You want to get it over with. There's times when I said, can we just elope? That's the goal, is to make sure at the end of the day that you're happy that we didn't elope. I'm just excited to marry you. It was like, <laughs> let's just get this done. With. So David and I decided that we didn't ha want to have like any titles for maid of honor, best man, you know, anything like that. And so what David and I wanted was to be the only ones at the altar with the officiant. We just wanted us on the stage. Look, I shared a marriage for a lot of years, okay? I did not want to share that stage with anybody but him. I'm just saying. Hey, Chanel, how's it going? Good, this is fun. Good, yeah. This is really fun, yeah.
it just seems right that David and Christine are getting married. I know she's loved. I know she's cherished. I know she's wanted. I know all of these things now. And it feels like something that was kind of wrong has now been fixed. Is David seeing you for the first time down the aisle? Oh, yeah. I kissed him goodbye this morning as a single woman. And uh, the next time he sees me, will be on the aisle. It's so weird because I'm very sad mm. that, that the other family's not here and that there is animosity and that there is problems. But I'm also like, I love David and David's family. It's complex because it's like, yeah, I like him, but I also am really sad that this marriage has ended. Do you think he's going to cry? Yes, he was, almost, he was almost crying yesterday. He was all choking up yesterday, so yeah. You guys doing good? You guys yeah, ready? Sure. No. Thank you. No, you're not? You want to give me some lectures? Give you lectures? What? Yeah. You're almost 50, you know what I mean? Lectures? I wish I was 50. I know 110% that it's the right thing to get married. I feel like I found my unicorn, where it's something that I didn't think I could touch. But in reality, I can, and it's awesome. OK, so tell me who everyone is, because I don't know them all. I don't know. This you, is you're Dave. Tony. You're Tony. I'm Dave. I'm Tony. Dave. I'm brother-in-law. This is Chris and from Chris, California. California? Ah. Then Corbin. You're going to marry us, right? He doesn't know what he's going to do. Wait, so so why, why, why did you pick him? <laughs> because he, um, he married my son, Dallas and Morgan. Christine and I just thought it was a good fit for him to do it. Who did you get your license with? So yeah, it was like one of those ones where I paid 50 bucks yeah. and I had to take a test. So as long as you guys aren't cousins, you guys can get married. So the court made a joke at the very beginning of their relationship, like the first time we met Christine. He was like, hey, I could marry you guys today if you wanted us to. Yeah. Like, if you wanted me to. Yeah, because Christine was joking. I was like, well, if you guys want to elope tonight, I was like, we have the witnesses and I'm a, I'm a licensed officiant. I was like, so let's just get married tonight. Just joking. And she's like, oh, be quiet. And then I get a phone call a few months later. And they're like, hey, do you... Do you want to officiate the wedding? And I was told I can't make any inappropriate jokes, which I originally asked if I could. <laughs> so I got told what I was off limits. But Christine had three things that she wanted. She wanted it short. She wanted me to talk about my love for them. And she wanted me to talk about finding love later in life. Christine and Dave are that story. They're the story that needs to be told. They're the testimony to finding love later in life. They're the testimony of second chances. There is a, there's a tradition, something borrowed, something blue, something old, something new. McKelty, Isabel, and I all wanted to give mom stuff, and we decided to base it around that tradition. We got you some stuff. Oh, okay, okay. Isabel, yours is best. So we, I wanted to give you something that would send you into this marriage on like a good set or a good foot. And so I put in the German tradition, it's tradition to put pennies on the bottom of their shoes. So there are pennies, it's a German tradition where you put pennies at the bottom of the bride's shoe and it's for prosperity and marriage. Okay, I have something that is a little gifty. <laughs> um, I thought you could wear it. So it says it's C and D, and it's the date of your wedding. Oh my gosh, yes, 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 yes. It's like yeah. a tree riding. I love it. Like when you were little kids, if you wrote your names together. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Like all of the sisters want mom to have like the biggest, most special wedding. So we wanted to make sure that mom got everything. I didn't know for sure what you wanted to do for earrings, but I have these. These oh are for my, my gosh. wedding. Oh, if you wanted to wear those. Yes, that would be my greatest I feel like honor. they'd look really good with your necklace. And if you want to do something different and it comes down to it, you can. No, 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 no. Okay. Thank you. They're the ones you wore. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you. Yeah. I love it. Yes, thank you. This is the cutlery I used to cut my night, my wedding knife. Yeah. My wedding cake. Thank so you. So I'm yes. going to have it for you to use on your wedding cake. Thank you. <laughs> I love it. I knew my girls were excited about me getting married, and they're excited for David. I didn't expect them to be this excited. They're having a good time with me getting married. Girls, oh my gosh. I'm Just I'm gonna put the knife away before I stab somebody because I feel really sharp. I love you. Love you, Mom. I love you. I love you too. You're getting Happy married. Happy wedding day. Oh no, look at oh, who here. showed up. What up, guys? Hey, Garrison. Oh. Hey, Caleb. Just started. Oh, yeah, wow. no, yes, just started, absolutely. I mean, Christine, as everyone knows in the family, has always been the party animal. And I think the reason David and her work out so much is because David feels the exact same way. Their version of a good time is everybody being around, having a good, good time. time. He lets her have fun. Yeah. And he enjoys it, too. And he's just sitting in the back like, yeah. are you having fun? Are you going to be nervous? No, 
No, I don't get nervous like that. It's just um, I focus on something else and I'm good. I'll get emotional, just like That's I That's pretty close to nervous. No, nervous is when you're freaking out. Emotional is all the being out there on the deck yesterday, looking over the whole deal and realizing that I'm marrying Christine, the, the love of my life, and it's just, it's awesome. It's just so cool to be here. I remember the first time that I, I kind of like settled in that you guys were getting married and then that you were gonna be with each other forever. And I was like, finally like, okay, this is happening and it's a beautiful thing. We, uh, we were out of town and he looked at you and he was like, oh, I love you so much. <laughs> like, just like honest and pure. And it was, Aww. I've never heard somebody say, I love you that much to you. He wanted to be with you forever, like forever. Oh, I And it was that. like, oh, okay. I guess Aww. you can have my mommy, <laughs> I guess. Thank you, thank no, you. No, thank, thank him. I love David. Um, okay, so like when I met David, I'm gonna cry. And I don't wanna do this because I'm gonna cry. I know. Um, he loves you too. I'm not gonna do it because I'm gonna cry. Please do it. No. What's I up? just love him so much. Aww. He's so awesome and I'm so happy for you. Thanks. <laughs> What's up? He's just amazing. You get your fairy tale and I'm happy for you. I remember Maddie's wedding. And the first time I really, really was sad about not having a big wedding, she just glowed like a bride. And I realized I didn't glow on my wedding day with Cody. And it was a hard day. All right, let's go. Ready, Mommy? Woo yes, I'm ready. ready I'm ready to get married. Woo! Today's already different. I already feel like I'm glowing. I feel like I'm glowing for days. And David loves me. He loves me. And I've never been loved like this before. This is crazy. It's crazy. He's my soulmate. Yeah, okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. Moment. Yeah. Just taking a moment. It's the best feeling in the world. And I hope every bride feels like this. <laughs>